Did I go all the way in? Oh, it did. Okay. It won't back out. Okay, cool. Okay, so I learned how to hold that and push so that it doesn't bounce around. And I, I missed the pilot hole one time and I dropped one of the screws and had to scramble our washers and had to scramble to get it but all four are up there and they are going to hold my magazine racks like that and I'll screw that in and then I can put my books and stuff in there next to my bed how cool is that? I couldn't use the drill bit because it won't get up in here at the right angle. I'm learning so much. This is my first time to work with a, a drill. So uh, I have to use a regular screwdriver and um, get it bolted down really tight. And I think it's going to work really well. This one is done, but as you can see when I'm driving, it could still bounce. So I might end up having to put double-sided tape underneath here. But how exciting is this? I have like a mini bookshelf and these are three quarter inch screws and a, a washer and then just uh, some uh, inexpensive magazine racks tilted from Walmart. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here is what it looks like finished and uh, I'm so thrilled because it will make it so much easier. This is my medical emergency book and where I keep all of my paperwork and everything and so I'm going to put a sticker up front on my dashboard that says uh, ICE in case of emergency C3 ring binder above bed and so that'll be here. All, everything's going to be in one place and I have a room. I have room to have books. Makes me so happy. Took me two years to figure this out. See you down the road. Robert, what are you up to? This one wasn't on your shopping list, but when I saw it, I had to get it for the Texan. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Never seen a bag of tortilla chips so big in my life. You crazy nut! That's bigger than my van! <laughs> I don't know where you're gonna fit it, but you may have to get a trailer or a cargo rack to carry your chips around. <laughs> Thank you, Rob.